Are all sins equal? I thought they were until I thought they were until I saw scriptures to back up that they are not. Ever thought about whether all sins are the same? Imagine a world where every mistake is equal. Curious to know more? Join me as we explore a video discussing if sins are really on an even playing field. Let's dive into the debate and figure out if some wrongs weigh more than others. Ready to think it over together? Come, take a listen. Are all sins equal? I thought they were until I thought they were until I saw scriptures to back up that they are not. Obviously, you will do your own research. Referring to me, you will do your own research. Example: First John, the Epistle of John, First John, chapter five, verse seventeen, Luke twenty forty-seven, Leviticus, both chapter four and chapter five, and Revelation chapter twenty, talks that sins are not all equal. There are different levels of sins and different consequences to those sins. Well, it's a good question, but I'll say this: whether sins are equal or not, and I do agree, not all sins are equal and not all sins are the same in their outcomes. However, every sin, whether it be small or big, The Holy Bible is very clear about it. In the Epistle of Saint Paul to the Romans, chapter six, verse twenty-three, the wage of sin is death. The wage of sin is death. Period. So whether it's a small sin or a big sin, the wage of sin is death. And also, the Holy Bible teaches us that if we get ninety-nine point nine 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 out of a hundred correct. And we get we get point oh 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 one incorrect. We have failed in all. There is no such thing in with God's examination. If you get ninety nine point nine nine, will you'll pass? No such thing. You get ninety nine point nine nine nine. You go into hell, baby. You're dead. You either get a hundred out of a hundred or nothing, because you're entering the presence of the Most High, the Perfect God. And to enter where the perfect God is, you must be perfect like Him. And the only perfection that is likened to God is Jesus, the Man. In this Man, there is perfection. So therefore, sins they can vary. I'll give an example. Um, for example, the the actually quotations that you've given us that's correct. But also, I'll add to that. In Matthew chapter 10, verses 14 to 15, the Lord Jesus says, "And whoever will not receive you, nor hear your words, when the Lord sends the disciples, is saying, 'And whoever will not receive you as my disciples, nor hear your words, then you depart from that house or city. Shake off the dust from your feet. Assuredly, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than that city.'" That rejected you. So there is tolerance here. There is a sin greater than the other one, but they all lead to one thing, and that is the wage of sin is death. Now, in the Greek language, the word sin is referred to as amartia. Now, amartia. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Amartia literally means to miss the mark. What is sin? Missing the mark. In the orthodoxy belief, we believe a sin is a sin. Sins a sin is amartia, meaning missing the mark. Well, it's not going to matter really if you're going to miss the mark by a mil or by a hundred miles. Since you've missed the mark, you've missed the mark. Whether you're close to it or far from it, you've missed it. And missing Mother Markia means you broke God's word. Period. The wage of sin is death. And what is sin? Breaking God's word, commandment. Every human being, including our father Adam, till the last person that comes to this face of this planet, we all make mistakes. We all have broken God's word in one way or another. Since we break in it, therefore the wage of sin. Still stands death. Now, 
And I'll just add one thing. In the book of Psalm, Psalm number 32, verse 5, King David says, Psalm 32, verse 5, I acknowledged my sin, one, to you, meaning God, and did not cover up my iniquity, two. I said I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. In one verse, King David mentions three types of wrongdoings, sin, inequity, transgression. It's not our topic, but we'll make it one day, God willing.